an honor and a privilege for me to serve on the Memorial District Board with Dr. Bill Rice. That's a little bit of a different perspective for me because we went through high school together and I knew him from the time we were freshmen in high school until we graduated and went our ways after graduation. Uh, even back then, he showed traits of, of leadership and, and accomplishment that I envied. He made himself the best hurdler in the valley just because he needed to be or wanted to be. I think because the coach told him he couldn't. Uh, he was an individual in school, an outstanding scholar, but he had his own opinions about things and sometimes people liked him and sometimes they didn't, but that was Bill. Serving with him on the board has given me a, an entirely new perspective for him, respect for his intellect and his eloquence in speaking and, and deciphering things, boiling complicated issues down to a few short words that make sense. He's just been an asset this district can never replace and it, it's just been such an honor to serve with him. I'm going to miss him. I love this man dearly, and uh, I'm sure he's still got a few good things left in him before he moves on uh, to make this world a better place, as he already has. I think my favorite experience on the Clovis Veterans Memorial Board is three parts. One is the vibrancy of the veterans of our community the issue of the board members that I served with, the relationship that I have with them and seeing the vibrancy and what that is, to see a, a director by uh, Lorenzo Rios and coming in and changing and bringing about such potency to the area is probably, from the standpoint of an individual, one of my best memories. Chairman Wright, who I've known since high school, uh, now that I've been on the board with him for 12 years, I wish we'd been close friends the entire you know, 50 years since we graduated. Uh, the third thing I would say that I, really part of that whole bundle is the whole issue of watching people have a positive impact concerning constitutional awareness, being able to see what should happen in our society to maintain stability and freedom and the rights of the individual. Tom Wright came to me and said, Bill, you're a veteran. There was a vacancy on the board and we'd like to have you run. Up to that point, I didn't even know that there was a board that you could run for. I didn't have any idea that what you have to do to get on the board, but Tom was the one who got me to apply. And unfortunately, to my regrets, I, they actually elected me. This district is a lightning rod for what I call constitutional awareness. It's a lightning rod to bring attention to those who have laid their lives down, both on a physical element and an awareness of those who did serve. Those of us who went to Vietnam or Korea or any other the elements outside the United States and put our lives in harm's way. And we're willing to do that in order to see our country maintain the freedom that it is. So the whole element for me is the energy, the momentum, the vibrancy, the effectiveness of who we are uh, to be on this board, to be part of what this board does in the community, to see what we do to bring that lightning rod of awareness and sensitivity, and just to be able to let people taste of something of the, what has been paid as a price, to me is very, very significant. I would like to say thank you to Dr. Rice for his years of service to this great district, he served our country in wartime, came back, and continued to serve our community by providing his talents at the university, in mentoring uh, students, and selflessly giving of his time. I personally have benefited from his leadership and his willingness to mentor. Since I've been here, I've had the privilege of sitting down and learning from him and thinking about how I think about things. I think that's a term he's asked many times. And at first, you kind of stop and go, what does he mean by that? But then you find the profound aspects of what he's asking you to stop and think about how you think about things. Because perspective matters, and your attitude towards knowledge really matters. And his passion for people to learn and engage has never wavered. And his commitment to encourage people to give more of themselves and to be the best versions of themselves has never wavered as well. He's passionate, and that's one thing I respect about him. He's been true to his uh, commitment to serving our community, true to his faith, 
and a heart that is bigger than anything that I've ever seen, and you will be missed. Dr. Rice, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service.